Hey, you Carnby heads. Big Carnby fans around here. That's right, we're returning to Alone in the Dark, too, because Carnby has got some men to murder and one little girl to save, but probably murder. Probably it's mostly going to be murder. All right, so I was a bit stuck at the end of last time, so I did some fiddling around. Um, and it does turn out that there is something we need to do before that one tiny chef sees us and calls the f calls for the alarm. So, fortunately, I do have one save from right before that happened. So, like, we're just not gonna go downstairs! So the tiny chef isn't gonna there's an accordion man! There's accordion man. Alright, something else I found. We could fight him, but... We also have his, his pact, and there is an option to tear it, so we can just do this in front of him. And there he goes. It worked. We got his hook. But we need the paddle. Where's that paddle? Did I already pick up the paddle? Okay, I already have the paddle. Equip that paddle. Now, I don't know if there's a better way of taking out the two guys in here. But is there, could there possibly be a better way than paddling them? I think not. So that's exactly what we're going to do. It worked so well the first time. And you know it's going to work well now. Because you get him stuck in this door. And then start giving it, giving it to him. Giving him the paddle. That one, that the guy behind him is dead already. Look how fat, look the short work the paddle did. This man thought he was choosing well when he chose this gun with a really long barrel. Uh, turns out he needed something with a bit more shorter range. There we go. All right. You know, last time I was fiddling around with this card puzzle and I was wondering, how do you solve this? And then I watched the last video, and it turned out that I solved it and didn't realize it. Because this door is closed. It turns out when we solve the puzzle, that door opens. Now, what is the solution? I could show you it, but I don't know why it's the solution. Let's see. I need this one to be... Hold on. That's going around twice. I'm going to do what I did in the last... Vi like, I watched that video. This, this is what I did. I'm not saying I know why this works. Turn it one. So that was on diamond. I'm going to have to shoot that one again. This one here. Shooting only turns at once, which is what I need here. That's on diamond. No, I don't I don't want that perspective. That's on heart. I I think that's diamond. Get change. Okay, there we go. So when I hit that heart, it's gonna the door's gonna open. Hey you. I'm not saying I know why. I'm saying that's just what happened. Now his gun is shorter range, so he is getting me. All right, this is the fast one. That's the fast one there. Oh, I feel bad. I feel awful. Can I get him? I got him. Time to lick her up. Mmm, come to daddy. So I'm sure the puzzle, the card puzzle, has something to do with the cards on the wall. And we have that detective journal that says, Hey, Carnby, remember our poker games? 
but what exactly is it? I don't know. I did it completely by accident, and that that's what opens the door. All right, there's also this. I found out what we need to do with this. I, I wasn't able to interact with it, but turns out if we use our nickel. We get two tokens. I exchange my nickel for two tokens. All right, that's what the nickel's for. And then when we leave, Santa Claus should be here. There he is. Let's get behind him. Work the kidneys, Carnby! Give it to him! I mean, this this would really hurt. You, stand, you get up behind someone and start laying into the kidneys like that? That's no joke. He can't turn... He's having trouble turning around. He's holding a gun. He can't seem to turn around. Oh, hold on. I got his sack. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't seem to know what to do with this. Oh. There we go. And now, let's look at the sack. No, not that. Not that. There. Santa Claus suit. There we go. Santa Carnby is now here. And now, let's save a game. All right. How much health do we have? 17. So now... That's, I guess, that's probably how we're supposed to do the basement. When we head up to the first floor, now we're wearing this suit. And it seems that the small chef will not sound the alarm if we're dressed up as Santa. Yeah, there he is. Master of Disguise. All right, so now let's, let's explore this first floor. We have not actually looked here because previously we would die instantly on the first floor. But let's see what we can do here. Is that moving? Yeah, that statu statue's moving a little bit. Doesn't seem like I can fight it. Not sure what's happening there. Oh. Okay. That's what that's what was happening there. That's what was happening there. It was trying to throw its, I guess, a trident. Is that what that was? Ho ho ho, young man! Ho ho ho! All right, it's closed. What about here? All right, looks like we're in the kitchen. Got a frying pan. Oh, that's a big chef. What does he think about me? Uh, Do you know that wine may open many a door? Is that correct? Oh, I got his. I got a plate of fried eggs. Wine, you say? Thanks for the advice. Poison. Well, we won't drink that. Oh, what? he's fighting. He's fighting. All right, hold on, hold on. He's got a ranged weapon. How's the frying pan going to do? Oh, it's fast. He's fast. That blow that blow gun is fast. All right, so he talked to us at first and then started shooting. All right, look, hold on. Let me take a look. I know we read about that guy. Let's see. Now, this is the gambler. The gambler is upstairs. The gambler is in the pool room upstairs. We have defeated him before. We're going to have to do it again. But what about the cook? T-Bone, that's him. Let's see. He's got two sh uh, sushi experts called the cookies. The China Seas. 
All right, the two sushi experts are fascinated by gold. Sushi experts fascinated by gold. t b o n is a master of the blowpipe and likes to leave his two mates to carve the meat. And right, we know about his blowpipe. I don't. I didn't really. Didn't really strike me that we saw a weakness there. Like he's got a cleaver, so he's she's chopping up some meat. That's one of the, one of the cookies, I guess. Um, let me get so, get some more health. So I guess one idea could be to just go in there shooting. See how well that works. I feel like this riot gun has not been very strong. Oh, th that pitchfork's coming. <laughs> it, it homes in. Okay, three shots from the riot gun did it. So, that pitchfork's a bit of a problem then. I guess, can we blind the statue so it doesn't throw it at us? Like, it can go around walls and through doors. So, once it throws it, it's, uh, it can just it can keep, it can keep coming. We haven't been in this room. What's going on in here? Ooh, a Christmas tree. Ho, ho, ho. Should I kill the young chef, like the small chef, when he walks by? Like, he's gonna go back to the kitchen at some point. I could probably, like, and if he does that, it might be harder to kill the, the big chef. Like, maybe I should try to kill the small chef. But then again, if I do that, maybe he'll call the alarm. But, ho, 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 young men! Ho, ho, ho! These, these men are not fans of Santa. All right, so when the small chef uh, sounds the alarm and those dudes come out, we now know where the dudes are. We now know. All right, well, another option is that we could just search the upstairs again, like we did that last time. Um, I could get a gun from the pool room. Is there anything I could do with the tokens upstairs, possibly? Closer. So there was a bathroom here, and an, I don't think there was anything... We didn't find anything in here. Which I thought was odd. How it just didn't seem like there was anything in this bathroom. Like, you'd think there would be at least one thing. Alright, that... The guy, the gambler, is in... Is in this room. So someone mentioned what's actually happening here is he throws you the gun to have a duel. I just ran up to him and started smacking, but you're actually supposed to take this. <laughs> it's out of ammo. So that's what you're supposed to do, but... I mean, you don't need to do it that way. Like, I mean, uh, it makes sense. He's the gambler, so he's throwing you a gun to have an honorable duel, sure. But that's not what Edward Carnby's all about. Does Carnby look like an honorable man to you?
now we can take the gun, and we didn't have to use any of that ammo. And we get a sword stick. The sword stick's pretty good. It's longer range. Uh, if I want real short range, I need to use the paddle. All right. Can I, like, use, I don't know, tokens on this? No, I guess those don't do anything either. So the tokens are two different colors. That one's, like, more gold. That one's more copper. It did say that the, the small chefs like gold. So... Maybe that's some. Maybe we use the gold token for them. I don't know. I don't know. And there's some. Yeah, a couple docks here. There's this that I don't know how to move out of the way. Like I tried pushing it. Uh, I mean, it can't be put. I mean, we can't get to the other side of it, so it's not working. Whatever the way is to move that, I don't know what it is. I don't know, the way the camera angles onto this, like, makes me think there's something about it. But I don't know what. Like, maybe there is, but I just don't have an item that could be used with it. Still don't know what to do with that hook. Uh, let's equip the sword stick. And then in this bedroom, there is a fight to be had against two arms. So let me want to yeah change the angle. There we go. Yep, that did a lot of damage. Gulp, 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 gulp. Yeah. I did three damage. Oh man, not doing too well on this. Let me uh, let's load the game. Uh, let's see, what did I want? Eleven. Yeah, let's drink some some liquor. Let's see. What? Uh, let me see something. So if I hit left, yeah, he, he. We don't want the one where he lunges. We want him to stay far away enough. Yeah, yeah. Just enough to get hits in. Nope. Well, maybe I can't. Maybe I just have to back up after getting a hit in. Okay, that one's dead. I think that was the one that was hitting me. I don't think the other one is hitting me. There we go. And then we get that parchment, and then we can use that to assemble them. Oh, that's this is the book. Okay, the book was what? DeWitt. Chambermaid. Um, DeWitt was brought up skill with cards, the gaming table. Mr. I may have another name. Mr. I. Who knows? Born at New Amgar and transported to Haiti, his life was chaos until he met Elizabeth Jarrett. He likes to dance. His way with a harpoon. He has a harpoon. Ask me to name a man among men and I'll say Black Hat. A bright lad, Alistair... Fink All right, there's a guy who can throw his hat. He then stowed away and ended up in Trinidad, where he Bubble Blade is Bubble the Blade. of a family of armorers of Toledo. 
Trained from birth to handle a sword, he became a duelist of note. At the Ooh, his secret stroke, the royal pardon. His two-hour fight with Lieutenant... All right, so there's a, one of these... One of these people is a master swordsman, apparently. What does the Parshan say again? Chess and magic. Right, the chess puzzle. If the White Queen seeks the throne... So we haven't actually seen a chess puzzle as of yet. Um, probably should save. All right. So I think at this point, there wasn't anything else that I was able to find to pick up. We can go in this room. This magic lab. Then there's a bathroom here. I wasn't able to find anything in this bathroom. You know, these like this this room just looks like there's there'd be something here. It really looks like it. You also have like this square with like a lo a symbol on it. All right, so that's what we got on the second floor. So, Maybe we could go back to the first floor. Now, we know that's probably going to mean I'm going to die. I could try going into the kitchen and maybe try not to activate the statue. I don't know how we would do that. Try to stay as far away from the statue as possible. I don't actually know what's going to trigger it. Is it when I cross its line of sight? If that's the case, then... This one's closed. All right. I'll, it looks like it didn't activate. I think he's getting reinforcements. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. I died anyway. All right, let's give him. We'll give him the riot gun. I should have done better than that. I'll we'll do this right now. Don't know if it's necessary to be concerned about ammo. In the first game, it kind of ended up that you didn't really. Like, resources ended up not being that much of a problem in the first game. Let's walk up behind him this time. Oh! Well, never mind. See, I assume the whiskey will also heal us. Yeah, not as much. Oh, am I drunk? Okay, yeah, it didn't actually heal us much, now I'm drunk. Oh, actually, it didn't heal us at all. That took health away. So, okay, don't drink the whiskey. 
Here's Flask. What's in that whiskey? Is it actually whiskey? There we go. All right, we got wine. And the chef did say that first time that wine might open some doors. Is he going to attack? No, I guess not. Take some eggs. Frying pan. You know, it's a good thing that these bodies just vanish. They don't stick around. Otherwise, that might have looked suspicious. Poison? Hey, hi, hey. It's, that's, it's that room. Alright, so that's, that is a fun room. How do we handle that room is a little unclear at the moment. Maybe we have to get him drunk or make him drink poison. Like, if I, if I open up one of those doors, they just come in. They, just, they, they all just come in here. Um, doesn't seem like there's anything else. Oh, can I push that? I guess not. It seemed like maybe, it looked, it looked like maybe I could push that in front of that door. I guess not. So I can't get in that room at the moment. Also, there is a statue here. That, uh... If it was gonna kill me if I get close enough. Uh, actually, you know, the floor... It does look like a chessboard. Maybe I should reread... Reread this. Chess and magic. If the White Queen seeks the throne... The king must empower her. May the amulet laid in the center of the sign open the doorway to space. That is the key to the royal gambit. Translator's note. This Gaelic poem might have helped Crowley to defeat Tartakover, the man who fed the devil in the box with gold. Well, I don't have an amulet. Like, I, I have poison. A frying pan, a plate of fried eggs, wine, sword, derringer, sack, token, token, book, book, whiskey, hook, battle door, book, riot gun, book, paper bag, notebook, flask, book, flasks, photo, flask. I do not have any amulets. So this door is closed. Don't have any keys or anything for that. That guy's walking around. Is there anything I could do with him? He is unclear. It seems like that statue doesn't activate if I stay far enough away from it. I could open that door. What happens if I r will open the door and, like, run away? It doesn't seem like anyone's moving. Hmm. 
Anything we can learn about that? So they don't... They don't move unless I actually walk into the room. If... If they chased me out the door, maybe I could go in the other door? Like, chase them around? Hmm... I could give it a try. They coming. Oh, that <laughs> activated him. Oh. Okay, they don't they don't all go through the same door. They're uh they're craftier than that, it would seem. Hmm. Oh, no, not that. So maybe I could like get like get them to drink some poison? Alright, Carnby does not drink the wine. Oh, I put oh, I put poison in the wine. I pressed use on wine, and then he poured poison in wine. So okay. Uh that's what we do with that. Now we have to get someone to drink this poisoned wine. But how do we get him to do that? Is there any place I might put the wine down? Where someone might decide that, hey, Here's some here's some wine for us to drink. How about I Santa leaves you a present under the tree? Ho ho ho! Yeah, I mean there it is. I mean I don't know if anyone I don't know if anyone's gonna go for it. Like this, considering how this game has been, the idea of solving a puzzle by having Carnby dressed as Santa leave poison under the Christmas tree so for someone to take it. That's something this game would do. I don't know if there's anything we need to do with him. So he's just going back and forth. He goes back and forth between the kitchen and upstairs. What is the reason for that? I assume there's a reason to keep him alive. Because... Like, the game, if you try to, if he sees you without the suit on, he calls the alarm. I'm going to assume if I attack him, he will also call the alarm. So if that's the case, then the game would want you to keep him alive for some reason. But what is that reason? Okay, when he comes back in here, does he, like examine anything? Could we put something down for him to take? Alright, he goes over there. And I can leave the poison there. I don't know if he'll take it. When the chef goes up, when the little chef, when he goes upstairs, he vanishes. Like, I don't think he actually appears upstairs. Take him a while to get back, I guess. I mean, he'll come back at some point. I just want to see if he picks that up. I 
I also have like a plate of eggs. Oh, here he comes. No, no, he didn't. I mean, I guess that was too much to hope for. I also have a plate of eggs. Uh, is this just health? It might just be health. Hold on. Yeah, I don't think anything different happened there. That was just him getting some health. Uh, there's the frying pan, which is a weapon. How, how do I get anyone to drink this wine? Like, there's no way to serve it, as far as I can see. If I go in there, they're just gonna call- they're just going to- to come out and kill me. What if I put it down and then, like, made them come out? And then, like, they just walk into it and they're like, ooh, wine! That wouldn't work, would it? That probably wouldn't work. Ho, ho, ho. Who wants some wine? Well, I don't want some wine. Let's put it... Put it there. Ho, ho, ho! Dr drink up! No, you're not drinking! They didn't want my wine. Do 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 do. Hmm. So wine can open doors, and there's too many dudes in there for me to fight. Like a lot of the um, a lot of the solutions so far in this game have just allowed you to fight dudes instead of finding like puzzle solutions to fight dudes. Uh, this one, I think there's just too many to fight. So, I'm gonna have to actually come up with a puzzle solution... ...for du for these dudes. And I feel like getting him to drink the poison wine... I feel like that is probably... ...probably some. I don't suppose, like, if I just drop this where you're walking... Nah, he's just walking past it. What about out here in the lounge? Oh. There's no room. Anyone want it? If they do, they're not showing it. You want that? Well, so far, no.
I feel awful. I've come down with a case of the bullets. That's not working. I mean, pushing it in front of the open door doesn't really make much sense either. And then there's the statue. I wonder if there's anything you need to do with that statue, or if is it is the puzzle just don't walk close to it. I'm not sure. There's like some... Is it like wearing a hat? The statue? It's like, is it wearing like a little black hat or something? I don't know if that's something I'm going to end up needing to get. Or if that's just part of the thing, part of whatever it looks like. Doesn't seem like that's working. And we can't open the front door. That doesn't work. Then there's this closed door. It says closed. It doesn't say locked. It doesn't say broken. Just says this door is closed. Anyone want some poison wine? Poison? Oh. You do? Enjoy your poison wine. Well. Uh, Alright. He... They enjoy, oh, yep, they enjoyed their poison wine. All right, I guess wine can indeed open doors. I mean, this looks like a thing. It's like a thing we should probably examine. Can I put like a token in it? I can. We don't look at that over there. Mm, nothing happening. Get a good look at that Carnby face here. It's a good shot of him. I like his upside down triangle mouth. I mean, upside upside down triangle doesn't make sense. Any triangle can be upside down or right side. That doesn't make that doesn't mean anything. Well, nothing's happening when I press myself against this door. It, does, it doesn't say it's closed. Just nothing. Nothing's happening. Alright, we had some music play. I don't know if I wanted to do that. Because I had to use one of my tokens to do it. I have one token left. At least we know that can do that. What an odd room.
Well... I, I don't know. It didn't seem like anything happened. I mean, maybe I can try to get those guys to come out to be lured to the music. I have one other token. Oh, did it not, not work that time? Oh, there we go. It's the other token. All right. Um, so let's not use our gold token. Poison wine. Please enjoy. Are you enjoying? There you go. I appear to be stuck in the door. Well, let me equip my sword and try to lunge forward. There we go. I got unstuck. All right, it's this token. I'll take a bulletproof vest. Should I just put that on? Under my Santa suit? I mean, I guess I put it on. Alright, we have sort of like a dormitory room. Oh, look, yeah. Like sort of a dormitory room here. A bunch of the... A bunch of the henchmen all sleep together. They don't get their own uh, separate bedrooms. They don't rate high enough. Is that it for this room? I mean, it's good that we get the we got the Thompson. Maybe it's what I need to. Maybe the solution to the to the dudes is to just shoot them with a machine gun. Is that just what the solution is? Maybe. Like this thing on the on the wall, that looks like that would be something. Nothing's happening when I look at it though. All right, use that. Got this equipped. All right, the machine gun method. Wine can open doors. Tommy guns can also open doors, too. You might not have known this. Oh, oh my armor's no good anymore! Wow, was it only one shot? I mean, yeah, I, I guess the bulletproof vest is to give you protection against one shot. All right, let's try the other door. Because there is a guy we can see from this door. It's jammed. Really? Is that, I guess that's why I was not actually, uh... I uh, didn't- I wasn't actually shooting anything. 
All right, we have a bad Thompson. So I will not load it. I don't know, maybe we can... Maybe we can... Can we fix it? I can equip it. Can I pour eggs in it? Maybe that'll clean it out. The sword stick? No. Put my sword stick down the barrel. I don't know what to do with this hook yet. Carnby doesn't either. I mean, I do have other guns. Not that much ammo for those other guns. I'm not sure if the the jammed Tommy gun is a puzzle or if it's just a joke. Haha, ha, you thought you were going to- you thought you were going- you thought, but you, it, you're not. You thought you were, but you're not. Hey, you. I'd appreciate it if you dr if you left that gun behind. He did not leave that gun behind. They're coming to the door, and if they're, if they're going to try to get through that door, that is our opportunity to paddle. Uh, could we possibly paddle? No. No. These guys are much more aggressive. Hmm. They're much more aggressive than the other people that I've paddled. Unless I can stun lock him. Well, I, th I think of the blue guy behind him is the bigger problem. If I can get him, I think we're okay. Oh, yeah, he's going down. The armor's no good anymore, but there's only two left. Can we do it? Okay, one... He's down. One more. One more. How bad is this guy? All right, so far... So far, he's not bad. Oh, no, no, okay. No, he was. Once he actually got out. Once he actually got out, he was a problem. Oh, well, well, that was working. It was working. I mean, I could drink more liquor and just try to tank this whole thing. I really looked... I like the, 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 the environmental... Like, I'm not environmental. Like, uh... Just like the emergent storytelling here of Carnby about to go into a room full of dangerous gun-toting men and he just chugs down like whatever, like brandy or whatever is in all these flasks, equips a frying pan and prepares to beat these men to death while wearing a Santa suit. You don't get that kind of emergent storytelling in today's games. You don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, he can't. The green guy can't reach me with his gun. It's too. It's. I'm too close. I'm too close. But I'm not. I might not be hitting. And oh no, I'm hitting someone. I'm hitting the green guy. I'm hitting the guy behind him. That guy does have a Tommy gun. If he opens fire, it's a problem. Yeah. Oh, he's he's going down. But my bullet my bulletproof vest is down. And blue guy is going down. He's going down. All right. Carnby stands victorious. I have to assume there's like a more, there's a more elegant solution to this. I have to assume. All right, what is in this room? What could possibly be in this room that makes this worth it? There's like not much. Ooh, a billiard ball hung up as an ornament on the tree. Fireplace. A lot of a lot of ash coming out of that fireplace. Got to clean that up. That little organ doesn't seem we can play it. That's the door to the kitchen. Nothing on this table. The heavy Santa boot-clad feet of Carnby echoing across the hardwood floor. Murder weapon, murder pan in hand. All right, why is there so much ash coming out of this? I don't know if we have anything that we could do here. With this, anyway. It looks like it could be significant, but... I don't know. All right, well, the thing we... When, the thing we got in the room is a billiard ball. I like how it's it's spinning, but it's not on center. Like, the axis is not on the center of it. Well, there is a pool room. Oh, wait. There's another door over there. A bathroom? Is there anything on this in this bathroom? Maybe. There's a spider. No? Weird how the bathrooms are itemless so far. Bathrooms have things like cabinets. And such. Yet none of these cabinets uh, seem to have anything. Alright. I guess let's go upstairs. To the pool room. And the, the tiny chef is oblivious to everything. It's the wrong billiard game! Hmm. Alright. What about this? Oh, here it is. Is that good? It's good. It's closed. Uh-huh. Do I need, um... A hook? Open it? It's closed. Is it, mm, uh, huh. Is there anything interesting or unique about the door to indicate what might be needed to open a door? 
Do I need to find a second ball to send through here? I mean, I don't think I have that first... I don't have the ball anymore. I already used the ball. I don't have it. Token? No, probably not. My blown up paper bag? He, we're not just here for fun. You know. Photo of the statue? Probably not. Anyone want some fried eggs? There's no room. Huh. You know, I'm a, I'm a bit puzzled by that. That there was a puzzle to... There was a puzzle to slide this bookshelf, but... Then the door- the door is still closed. Push the door? I mean, I wouldn't think so. It's closed. Um, do I have any items that- I don't think I do. I don't know. Alright. Is- are there any... I feel like we've been in the, all the rooms now. Have there been in any rooms that we have not actually gone into? Maybe there's like an item... Maybe there are items we haven't gotten. Like, there wasn't that much in this room. You'd think there would be more, considering what the room looks like. I was feeling confident about when that when that thing when that bookshelf slid open and we got to the door. But that is not enough. We need something and that sh that little chef continues to do what he does. I wonder if we need anything else from him. I mean, uh, there's no one left on the floor. Like maybe we could try to attack him. Like, there's no one for him to call for help, right? Like, I, I could imagine that being the idea that you do, that maybe you do need to kill him, but in order to, for, to kill him, you need to get rid of, help, help me. Yeah, you need to get rid of everyone who could come to help him. Well, if I can hit him, it doesn't seem like I'm doing it. Uh-oh. Activated that. Oh! It got him! <laughs> we- okay, we use him as a human shield. That's the solution. That's what we do. A crown, huh? Looks like a roulette wheel. Well, okay, we're obviously going to save that. All right, so we don't kill him with our own hand, but we use him as a human shield to take the hit for us. Uh, huh. Well, I don't think I can wear it. Is there a head we have seen somewhere that we can put this on?
Is there anything in here? Like a bust. Like he has statues, but I can't I can't put crowns on those. Can we use the crown on the door for some reason? No. Oh, wait, over there? Uh, maybe a crown could go on this. No, maybe not. You're just putting it on the floor. And in here... We have this weird tile. I don't suppose you want a crown. It doesn't look like it. What about over here? No, I'm still on the floor. Huh. All right, so there was that statue had a trident. It was on the floor that looked like it might be a chessboard. It was wearing a crown. The crown looks like a roulette wheel. I don't know if that means anything. Uh, there was a clue about chess. Chess and magic. There's the amulet in the center of the sign. The king must empower her. May the amulet laid in the center of the sign open the doorway to space. That is yeah, I don't have an amulet. I don't think the crown would be an amulet. A crown goes on a head. And it's not on Carnby's head because he's not wearing it. We have a head right here, but I tried putting it on this. Whoop, no, not that. I tried putting it on this. Oh. Well, it's on it now. I guess I just wasn't standing in the right place. It happens. It will happen. Oh, right. what did that do? Oh, there's something here. Amulet. I can't reach it? What do you mean you can't reach it? What do you mean, Karn? Oh, no, he, he took it. Th no, he did not take it. What are you talking about, Carnby? What is this nonsense you're saying? Is it under the floor? Carnby, I don't understand you. What do you mean? You've picked up items off the floor. Chess and magic. Amulet laid in the center of the sign opened the doorway to space. The king must empower her. Uh. Leave? Carnby, why can't you take this? I need some more information. I can't reach it. What is that? Was, 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 that need, say something. Say something useful, Carnby, please. Can I replace it with this token? No. Can I pick up the token now that I've put it down? Yes, I can take that. But I can't reach the amulet. Um, alright. Crown... King has empowered the queen. That would be the queen over there. Amulet in center of sign. Empow... Uh, it, again, we'll read it again. Chess amulet laid in the center of the sign. The Open the doorway to space. Now, I don't know if they're talking about this sign in particular, um, or if I need to take that amulet and put it somewhere else, put it on a different sign to open something up. All right, let's just take a quick run around. Did anything else change?
No, this door is still closed. It did not open this door. Maybe if I was holding the amulet, maybe it would. I, f I feel like we're real close to finishing this section of the game. We've killed every enemy. We've killed every enemy in this area. happening in the basement? Probably not. No, nothing different down here. reach it. What does that mean? Can I take the crown back? No, it doesn't look like it. it does not look like it. I hate how vague that is. I don't have like there's there isn't like an inventory limit is there? No, that's not it. Nope, not that. Can I put it in my sack? Oh. <laughs> I did not realize I could change back. I still cannot reach it. I use the sack to take the costume off. It seems like Carnby still doesn't know what to do with this hook. Huh. All right, well, I feel like we are just about done with this particular section of the game, because like I said, we've been through every available room, we have killed every enemy, so I feel like we're, like, moving on to a different part of the house. If only I could figure out how to pick up this amulet, um, and then maybe we could open up that one door in the gambling room. And maybe then we're moving on to uh, the next section of Hell's Kitchen... Uh, which is a, it's just, it's an action-packed thrill, thrill a second happening. You know, I'm, I really want to know what was the intended solution for that one room with all the dudes. It, there have, there has to have been a better solution than standing by the, the, the edge of the door and smacking them with the frying pan. That can't be it. 
that can't be it. It has to has to be something, something else. Um, and there has to be something else for this amulet because what does that mean? What does it mean he can't reach it? What does that even mean, Carnby? That doesn't mean anything. There's only one other. Well, I mean, there is only one. Well, I guess I could take this. It doesn't work, but we can take it. I guess there actually is one other thing that we can do. Even I don't know if it does anything. There is actually a single solitary thing remaining. There was a different song we could play by using the first token. No, not that. All right. Different music's playing. Is anything different happening around here? Is there anything? I'm not seeing anything. Oh, is that there was an item there? All right, does that help us? Was that always there? Or did that appear just now? I mean, it might have just always been there, and I just never saw it. That's always possible. I don't suppose this music causes this door to open over here. No, that's still closed. Is this song doing anything? Oh? Oh no, he's being... He's gonna turn into a Native American? Super Saiyan? That, that's, that's for the year 2000. All right, uh, I think we have made it to the next part of the house. A message. Dear Mr. Jack, sorry, stop. We have no more red balls for the tree, stop. Hope you got the case of champagne. Again, sorry, stop. Hector Coward, Xmas Acme Limited. Hector Coward is a very good name. I like that's a, that's a good character name. Also, I guess this is why they were using a billiard, a red billiard ball for a a tree ornament. All right, I have I have no idea what any of that was. Why could I? Why could I pick up? Why could I pick up the amulet? Was it because the music was playing? Is it because I got this doubloon? What was... What ch What happened? What changed? It doesn't look like I have the amulet anymore. It looks like that's gone. I guess that just teleported us. All right. Carnby doesn't know either. He doesn't know. Uh, and I don't know. But I'm happy, at least, that we made it... I'm, I'm guessing we made it into the next part of the house. And the music is here to play us out. That's... Huh. Man, I don't know. I don't know what any of that was. Maybe, it, maybe it'll become clear as we continue on. With Alone in the Dark 2, Edward Carnby's adventures through Hell's Kitchen to find Grace Saunders and rescue her from the clutches of One-Eyed Jack. A vicious pirate who, uh, he freeboots? He is a freebooter. That's what he does.